No, but you were very unhappy with the fact because you spoke about team spirit. You spoke about the fact that you know Sheila Dixit was supposed to be a part of the same team putting together these games. And the moment the games come out, it seems that everything that went right was because of the Delhi Chief Minister, and everything that went wrong, the image that is being conveyed is that it's because of you. Well, everybody had their own duties to perform. My duty was to ensure that the games went off well. As chairman of the organizing committee, I had to ensure that the field of play was okay, that all the athletes were given good technical support, and I think we did it very well. All the events took place on time. The opening ceremony and the closing ceremony, which was my responsibility, went off very well. So we did our work. Mrs. Dixit did her work of the roads of Delhi have improved and things like that. And the sports minister did his job, which was construction of a lot of world-class stadiums. So everybody had his role to do, and everybody did it very well. But the image in the mind of the public at this time, Mr. Kalmadi, is that till a few days before Mrs. Sheila Dixit got active at the Games Village, the Games Village was uninhabitable. It was a complete mess, and it's because she got active that she cleaned the mess up. She's being held internationally as well. Well, let me tell you that the Games Village was done by the Lieutenant Governor, and uh, we were working on it for the last two years. Everything went off well. Yes, uh, we, uh, some village tasks were handed over to us late, and that caused certain problems. But then I gave the athletes, the visiting athletes, a choice whether they want to stay in the hotel or in the village. Everybody opted for the village. No, but why did the situation come to a pass where somebody else had to be called in? She wasn't so, in the uh, original team. It's all a joint effect. effort. Everybody has worked together. Anyway, the problem, everybody jumped into the problem. Tried to solve it. That's okay. Okay, I want to draw your attention to a, uh, to a few contracts uh, which have received a lot of, you know, which have received a lot yeah. of press. And I begin this one with, you know, this is about the various contracts that the organizing committee has given out pertaining specifically yeah. to the 1600 crore rupees that were under your disposal. You know, I have these contracts for the seven towers at the Games Village. Now, one plug point, you know, and this is specifically, it mentions over here that there's only one. You know, at one place, it costs 396 rupees. At another, it costs 2,149 rupees. In tower 7, 2,149. At another place, 396. How can these things be explained, Mr. Kalmadi? We will explain every article which we have purchased. And there's an inquiry committee set up for that. I don't want trial by media anymore. You're calling this a trial by media, but in the documents that we have come We will be giving all explanations. Because these are based on reports that the CAG, the CVC came up with, their preliminary reports. And the point that is being made, in fact, the BJP president, Nitin Gadkari, held a press conference just a short while ago and said that the loot, you know, is historic in nature. And why is it that everything has been escalated? This is not trial by media. This is being said by the CAG and the CVC <coughs> both. We will answer all. There is a committee which is going into it. We will answer all these questions. Thank you. You are saying that there is a committee. But what, a, what Mr. Kalmadi, are Thank the you. big... Mr. Kalmadi, just a Thank couple you. of more questions. No, no, I'll what, what you said five minutes. No, no, just five. a couple of more questions. I will answer all your questions. So, Mr. Kalmadi, I'll just a couple of questions if you don't mind. I will answer all your questions.